Greetings, Huntsman and Huntresses. Welcome back to Ruby JPDE. Okay, now guys, let's move on with the roots, and this time we're going to be working on cinders. Because while I could have done it the last couple of videos, I didn't want it to, you know, be jumbled up with everything else. So I started focusing on this week, and let's take a look. Here we go. So, I have to tell them about what happened with Cinder. Alright, let's see how well they take this. Not well, I imagine. Not well at all. Alright, I won't deny that, considering the situation you found yourself in. You acted best as you could, but... Why? Way to put a target on your head! Are you nuts? Kenshi, I share Evelyn's concern. You put yourself in harm's way by threatening her like... Like, so... You made yourself a priority for Cinder. This may sound incredibly childish, but she started it. She made a, she made a several priority for me. For us. Yeah. Still, you have to watch your back from now on. I guess. Hmm. What's going on? Okay. To be completely honest with all of you, that's not all what happened. You missed the ending. Ah, uh, yes. The whole lip-biting thing. Didn't know she was into that, but... Who am I to judge? Ending? What ending? So, as I was making my case, I had to restrain her. Had restrained her. Oh. Grabbed one of her... Grabbed one of her weight wrists. Pinned it above her head. Got in her face. That kind of stuff. Yeah, that just does not work out well. Because that sounds like something you'd see in, you know... A harem anime kind of thing. You know, we, you know the, where the Sundere is basically saying how much she hates the guy. He slams her into the wall, starts you know, yelling at her and all that. Next thing you know, she, she literally launched up onto his lips. Hmm, weird. Oh, my. And while I was doing that, she suddenly bit my lower lip. She what? Swear to God, she bit my lower lip and pulled it, b it back. Then she socked me in the face and hightailed it out of there. What the hell does that? Why? Um, maybe Kenji's seduction plan actually worked? Yeah, n I hope not. That's like, I was that femme fatale after me. Like, I don't find some femme fatales, but she's the one I don't want after me. No, thank you. Fat chance! She was most definitely not... She has most definitely not fallen for me. Of course, but if your last private conversation is anything to go by, she at very least considers you good enough to screw. Evelyn! What? It's true! Ahem. <clears throat> yeah. But point is, considering what's going on at the moment, shouldn't she be more prone to killing me than anything else right now? Yeah, but... Ugh, this is confusing. Alright, maybe, just maybe, you're, you're not become a target to her. Your actions made yourself something else in her eyes. But what exactly? I'd rather not think about it, dude. I don't think any of us want to. Well, maybe Cinder is into, the, into rough cop copulation? Ugh, well, she does strike me as the type. She seems like the whole power type. The one who always wants to either be on top or the one who's always trying to, you know, be in control. Because that's what she is. She, in fact, she's the one who thinks she's in control, when the fact is she really isn't. She still is the pu a puppet. She's a fake... She, well, let's put it this way. She's a pawn who thinks she's a queen. There's an there's a, a analogy for you. I'm just throwing out hypothesis. As likely as they are, the problem is that we know next to nothing about Cinder as a person. And if her reaction can't be explained, what we know of her plans and role, it must be something pertaining to her as a person. Hmm. So, we're most likely never know. Great. Oh, whatever. The bottom line doesn't change. AKA, watch your back, Kenji. Oh yes, watch my back, dude. Watch your back. Oh, now we're back with Cinder. This is not good. Ma'am, you're 
been in a good mood lately. Have I? Yes, I believe so. Did something happen? Wait, what? what's going on here? Why is it Kenji's dialogue? Shouldn't be em Ember's. Must be a little glitch in, in the dialogue. Hmm, yes. Some, yes. Something happened and something rare showed up in front of me. Something I actually want. Uh-oh. I think she's the kind of girl who likes someone who can, sh you know, stand up to her and maybe try and put her in her place. She's one of those types. Ma'am? Now, don't get me wrong, there are plenty of things I want to do to accomplish. But the last time there was, has been something I want to have to possess. I was just a little girl. Uh, I see. So you're going to get it? Ah, <sighs> I don't know if I should. What do you mean? Is is there is there an impendent? Ah, weird word. Impendent. The impendent is that I need to keep my focus on the mission. A distraction like this is something I can't allow. Even though this is such a rare occasion. We've got to make sacrifice sometimes, Emerald. You of all people should know this. I do, but ma'am, that's because I was alone. Hmm? I won't deny that the life there are tent. I won't deny that in life there are times when choices must be made. But the entire reason why you looked for me and Mercury's father was because there were things even you by yourself couldn't accomplish. Your point being, I don't mean to insult or diminish you, ma'am, but I just want you to know that you can rely on me to be your eyes and ears at any moment. Hmm, <laughs> she's taken back. You know, Emerald, I think I'll take you up on that offer. I, I won't disappoint you, ma'am. I'm sure. Now, let's go back. This is not good. And dress in... There is a dress in desperate need of airing. Oh no, that dress. Well, that was unexpected. Whoop. Hmm. Alright, so guys, this got nothing to do with what we just saw. This is just a little interaction with Amber. We're going to watch that. They're leaving it open at night now, huh? Cool. Part of the royal castle. Would make sense to have some secret passages in place in case you ever need to hide. I believe, I bet that, that before they put the elevator in, the vault was inaccessible except from here. I wonder if this place has any other secrets that Osmond doesn't know about, and how and exactly does and how exactly does Amber know about it when he doesn't? Only explanation I can think of is. Hmm. Hmm. Correlate your brow no longer, my friend. Hmm. <laughs> I do, I do love this little this new design she's got. I do love it when you know this game gives you like up alternate you know looks. I kind of like it. It kind of reminds me of this game I've been playing recently. I've been playing the Fate series on my iPad and I'm enjoying it immensely. For I have come to lay your doubts to rest. Amber. Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> I forgot she's a ghost. Oh, right. Intangible. Mm, quite. I I wasn't prepared for hugs. Really, considering the circumstances, you, you should have expected it. I understand you must be wor You must have been worried. How long has it been since we last spoke? Weeks. And the only reason why we even discovered what happened to you was because of Ozpin. Could you please elaborate? My recent conversation seems like the headmaster was doing his utmost to keep my presence a secret. He's going to explain what happened. Hmm. I see. Makes sense for how Os Ospin operates. Jack's face was when he told us was... I was just thankful we were so lucky. Also brave. You risked mu much to help me. Despite everything already on your plate. For that, you have my eternal gratitude. Nonsense. I would have ever left you behind after everything we've been th gone through. Also, Gerald was probably t 
would have probably tried to kill us again. Hmm, I see. Then I am thankful for having such good friends. And speaking of which, now that my memories have returned, there's a lot I need to tell you of. Does it have... Does it also tie in with your relationship with the Royals of Vale? Does the secret passage give it away? I only recently learned that Beacon was built where the royal palace once stood, and that most of it is gone, except two things, I bet. This ballroom and the vault. And if Osborne didn't know about the secret passage despite being the headmaster, I'm prone to believe that it wasn't knowledge revealed by the by the royal family when they left. Precisely so. Granted, most secret passages were brought to light when the castle was brought down, this one was never discovered because of its nature. Only a full maiden, full maiden can operate it. To the others, it appears and works as a normal stone wall. A fall. Why would that be a sick contraption in City and Royal Castle? Because every single f female heir has always been the full maiden, I bet. Oh, I was right. Because since the creation of the kingdom, the full maiden has always been the Queen of Vale. All hail Princess Amber. Is that why your speech is so different now that you have now you have one mind, your highness? Silly, the queen was my mother. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. It happened years ago, Kenshi, but your condolences are most welcome. I see. Still, won't that make you My father is still alive, and even then there's nothing for us to rule over any longer. And me and my mother were the last ones to ever be crowned. The last act as regrets was advocating in favour of the current state, which still calls itself a kingdom out of respect. I was born in exile, so to speak, but we kept our traditions going even so. A tradition like passing down magic power from mother to daughter? Quite. The maidens have existed for thousands of years, Kenshi. Did you really think this was the first time one of them was attacked, or that someone tried to steal their power? How would that make sense? Now that now I get it, I was I was more wondering, how did you pass them down secretly to the point of building a lineage around it? Maiden powers are indeed gifted to the original maidens by a wizard, as in the fable. Established embellishments to the side, there's something that hasn't that wasn't added to it. The powers automatically pass on to the last person the previous maiden was thinking about before she died. Oh, I see. Or, or better, I see how this could lead to the attempts on their lives. Originally, the existence of the maidens was public knowledge. Not all of them sought them out were souls in search of miracle for a sick relative. The tipping point came when the different clans in the Valstidian region went to war over the possession of the Four Main, who was, at, the, at that time, just a child. The clans that won the Maiden War, after ten brutal years of carnage, established the kingship, and their leader took the Four Maiden as his queen. Please tell me she was old enough afterwards, like ten years, and she was just a child when it first started. I really hope she was above the age. And to prevent any further fighting, they made it so that the main powers passed down from mother to daughter. That means that you, your mother... Yes, I have seen the light leave my mother's eyes, and I was the one in the soul... The one soul in the room with her when she passed. That's a terrible thing to do to a child. I agree, but it was necessary. My mother left us in her prime, and if there's one... Or someone unsuitable for the main's, main's thoughts, the gods only know who on Remnant the power is going to be passed to. Unsuitable? So there's more rules? Males can't become maidens. Also, the older the woman is, the less likely it is that she can successfully inherit. Then how, did, then how did Raven become one? Because after all, she's not a maiden, she's not pure, after all she had Yang, so... What does that make her? Which is why it eventually became more likely for people to try and control or get the graces of the maidens. Use that the knowledge was eventually relegated to the realms of fables, exception made for the enemy. 
Cinder's master, or better yet, mistress. Yes, what do you know about her? I know... I know that she is a person Jannara is based on, which makes her tied to the boss. Also, her husband has some kind of personal relationship with her. Yep, they're exes. Husband and wife. Hmm. Uh, excuse me? A big reason we managed to get into the Vale is Jannara lured Osborn out of Beacon into Vale. Just one look at Jannara and he became incredibly interested in meeting her. And considering Jannara looks like this enemy, I could not but think that there's a personal connection there. I find that hard to believe. How so? Whenever I heard about someone speaking of the enemy, two things always stuck out to me. First, her actual name was always spoken in hushed tones. Salem. You know, I'll be honest, I kind of like the, the name Salem. Because it's... Is it based on the Salem Witch Trials? You know, the, the infamous thing that happened in Boston? Because if it is, that kind of makes sense. Kind of a cool name to call a villain. Although, she's more like a tragic villain in my opinion, Salem. Hm. Salem. And the second, well, the organization that tries to keep the Maiden safe has existed ever before the founding of Vale, in one form or the other. The only constant has been Salem. They have been fighting her and her subordinates over the eons. So she's that long lived. That's definitely a possibility that the boss and her have met then. Osborn is a normal human, and I've seen him grow older grow older, so I don't see that what kind of personal connection he could have had to the enemy. As far as I know, she hasn't revealed herself to anyone in thousands of years. She prefers fighting her battles by proxy. There's another mystery for the pile. Hmm. Oh, whatever. We'll wrap our heads around this stuff later, alongside everyone else. Right now, I'm just happy to see you again, and knowing you're getting better. Thank you, Kenshi. I... I'm very happy to see you again, too. You know what? You know, when I... When I was... Ah, <sighs> never mind. That's a conversation for another time. I say, what about... I, I say, what about we organize another war council with everyone else? That would be ideal, yes. We'll catch you up to what happened while you were away. And we'll talk about it, what happens next. And I can divulge further information about having to repeat myself. So, um, I guess, good night? Yes, good night, Amber, and it's great to have you back. I know. I can feel it. Oh, that's sweet. Ah, that's fun. Okay, guys, I'll cut you in with the next part of either the story or the next flag of Salem's Root Triggers. See you in a bit. Okay, guys, and we're back. Let's do this. Alright. Okay. Hopefully that's the last pancake batter run for the week for this week. Why? Is this is Nora involved somehow? How do we end up going through so much of that stuff anyway? We're not Team Juniper. No, but maybe the girls like pancakes? Who who doesn't love pancakes? Seriously. Maybe it has something to do with all the burnt smell I s- Maybe it has something to do with the burnt smell I felt sticking around the kitchen last weekend. Some must have tried and failed to make some. That's not just an offensive- This is not just offensive any longer, Kenshi. It's downright suicidal. Hello, Cinder. I see you're wearing your femme fatale dress. Cinder. After how we parted last time, not paying attention to your surroundings, hasn't even make it hard for you to notice me this time. Look what I'm wearing. Yeah, I'd rather not. <laughs> Liar. Also, a murder on campus would. Plus, also, a murder on campus would put you plans on hold indefinitely, wouldn't you say? I guess it would. That's not what I'm here for, anyway. Oh, this is not good. Killing you wouldn't make a mess. Wouldn't make a mess of my plans. It wouldn't even be an would. It wouldn't even be an easy as you'd think. Excuse me. 
You become, you've been training as a hunter, Kenji, which means aura, a shield which is always on automatically protects you and heals you. To kill you without fight, I'd have to shoot at your head with a high quality dust round from high powered sniper rifle or dismember you and make sure you bleed out. The hell's ro wrong with... What do you want? Now, that's the right question. I just thought I'd put it out there in the open, both me and you. You and me? Yes, Kenji. It wouldn't be easy. It wouldn't be that easy to kill you. And it wouldn't be easy to follow up on your little threat either. You think I'd hesitate? Oh, absolutely not. I know your every single word you said to me, and I know, without hesitation, a second if I cross that line. But still, while you had a great sell, I'll admit, it's a tiny little problem of how your secret weapon works. <clears throat> how it works? It's your aura pool infinite by any chance, Kenji? You only need that hint, huh? That's right. If what you said is technically true, because of how much aura it generates by collapsing aura structure, where are you going to put all that? Hmm? You're just going to come at, come at me without any aura of your own, unprotected? You're going to spend aura as much as you get it. Can you even do it while siphoning it? Can you do it faster than me killing you or any of your friends? You! Come on. Do it. He could technically use one of his inspirations to, to, you know, weaken his aura pool. That would work. I figured, yeah. Going at each other wouldn't do us, do anything but make trouble for the both of us. But we both know it's going to come to it, come to that sooner or later. I've made a mistake by getting involved with your team. I thought you'd easy, you'd. I thought you'd easily manipulate two fools. So what stopped me from making you regret it, as I regret it, and throwing out the baby with the bathwater? Yeah, nothing really. But you couldn't provide me with. But you could provide me with something. What? That's enough for today. Just pull your jaw back up. Not a word to anyone, and wait for my message. We'll talk more about it on a later date. I wonder what's causing those goosebumps. Don't threaten me with a good time, Cinder. Don't threaten me with a good time. I just made it even more dangerous, didn't I? Yes, you did. Yes, you did. By putting her in a no-win situation. Well, guys, I'll cut you in in the next part of this event, which will probably be at the weekend. See you in a bit. Okay guys, and we're back. So, yeah, I didn't wait till the weekend guys, because this little event took place with the guy, with the girls, and I thought we'd show it. You want to see Kenshi, but you didn't, but you didn't come to see me. I, I'm sorry, I... I didn't think it was that important. Ooh, wrong things. Who? wrong thing to say. Arr, stupid, stupid meanie. I had it right the first time. I hate you! Janora, wait! I need to continue! You better... You can keep your stupid secrets! <laughs> I... Don't... Understand what just happened. Are you an only child, Amber? Well, yes. It's right to say, for all their power and bravery, Janora is still very much a child. Let me go talk to her. Wait, Mom, I'll go. Nonsense. First of all, this is official team meeting. As, as a team member, it's important for you to be in it. Also, we don't want Janara to start having favourites, do we? New favourite, you mean. Fine. Good. And pay attention, because I will be interrogating you about the meeting afterwards. Well, okay, teammates, you better take notes. I think this is about to get much more complicated. Well, considering we started by discuss, discovering what the, that the Royal House of Vale was half created to protect the Four Maiden, I'd say. Which begs the question to start with. Why 
Why aren't you with your family, Amber? That ne that's necess that necessities a bit of a a bit of a background. My memorization features as a maximum output. Don't worry, T Titania. I'll help you study. Thanks, I guess. Huff. The enemy Salem. There, there have been people fighting for her over the maidens much earlier than the found foundation of Vale, but the kingdom provided those individuals a great opportunity. I bet that the king would marry the maiden to prevent more wars. Wars over it was sensitive to their plight. Yes. The Kingdom of Vale provided them with funding, but more importantly, helped them in form into an actual organization. It had many forms and names over the years, non-official or public. I simply call it Sanctuary. Sanctuary. That rings a bell. I bet it does. You see, I call it Sanctuary because that's also the name of, the pla of a place. The place where my family exiled themselves to after abduct abducting the place where the maidens are sheltered and trained. But it also the pl base of operation for Osborne's orphans. You probably heard the name mentioned by some of the other seniors once you want senior ones you've encountered. Wait, doesn't that mean that the orphans were as created as guards for the maidens? Yes, but not only that. Think of it as four great academies, four headmasters, four different groups of orphans, one for each maiden. You tell me that the four hunter academies were born out of Sanctuary? The founders were all members, yes. When I said that Sanctuary had a different had different forms over the eons, it's because even after forming it as an organization, it had to adapt to t changing times. Remnant doesn't know about the enemy or the war over the maidens. Its life continued in spite of much things, and when the time of the kingdom was over, one of the academies began. The four great academies and remnants are what the kingdoms of Vale had, had been until the Great War. Centuries of organization, influence, and manpower for the sanctuary, which is ruled by the four headmasters. Well, I'd say that, but in reality, James Ironwood and Leonardo Lionheart have almost always preferred to Osborne. Only the headmaster, only the headmaster of Accio has ever acted as his equal. General Ironwood doesn't sound very deferring, though. Hmm, if I had to take a guess, I bet he, he's starting to doubt Osborne after what happened to you, Amber. It's, a po it's possible, yes. He failed to convince me to stay, and he failed to keep me in sanctuary. So you left on your own will, Amber. Why? Because I didn't want to live out the rest of my days trapped inside a single location without ever seeing the outside world. I wanted to actually live my life. I had to complete my training, though. I thought I could handle the real world on my own. Now that the main sword were no longer targeted for all the... For all that lived in it, I was mistaken. Still, I'd never been taught there's a way to directly s steal a maiden's powers. That completely blindsided me. You did well in the fight, Amber. It's just that they they fought dirty. You did great. And it blindsided Osborne too, I bet. I guess they found a way to break the status quo. Oh, that. I, I almost have I almost have to compliment her. Millennia fighting through proxy, trading maidens back and forth, even without reaching a solution. It drives me mad just thinking about it. What's up with that anyway? If Salem's this per if this Salem person is like the source of all this, why isn't why don't just they why don't they just off her? She's immortal. From what I've been told, I've tr it's been tried again and again, always without success. If she's really that long-lived, she's probably not even your average schmuck. She's immortal and extremely powerful. Fantastic. That explains how they've come to be in Beacon and why Cinder attacked you. There's a big, there's still a big question, though. What question, Kenshi? Why are the maidens so important? I don't think... 
a being like Salem or the boss has much use for, you know, more power. Especially since you're the proof that mains are not invincible. Hmm, quite. So if it's not the, their inherent power that drives this war, what is it? The relics. That's what it is. Um, I feel a bit knowledge escapes me. <laughs> oh, I love that sound effect. Talk about anticlimactic. You seriously have no idea. I was never told, no, but... I have a theory. What is it? There's something... There's something, at least. What is it? There's... I was born and lived in sanctuary with my family. I was taught about the history of my family, particularly about the lives of the queens... the queen maidens. There's only one queen that I have ever been taught about. Her life was more of a cliff note than a lesson. My grandmother. Zelian Vasilian the first. That's a weird name. The second to last queen. That's quite a weird omission. I agree. She died before I was born, but my grandmother's but she was my grandmother's queen my grandfather's queen, sorry. They led their kingdom through the Great War, and from all their transformations in the one country, it never made sense to me unless Unless the omission is not because of what she did as a queen, which she did as a maiden. Yes, you heard the tales about the final battle of the Great War. Vod... Vodrunum. Vodrunum. The battleground which May wants to take us to. You mean about the King Torianus won the, the battle single-handedly? That's hypothesis, yes. They're not tales that my grandfather actually did end the war with a single swipe of his sword. That kind of feat is beyond any human and any maiden. I think it may have been beyond the enemy, but what if... What if what? What if somehow a maiden has been able to bestow that kind of power onto others? Yes. It's getting intense. Well, I'm not sleeping tonight. Alright, I I think I need a timeout. This is making my head spin. We're pretty much done. And again, it's just a theory. A pretty sound one. Ugh, please never ever bestow anything like that onto anyone, Amber. Even if I knew. Even if I knew how, I don't think I ever I ever would. Never say never say ever. I think it's supposed to be never say never. You never know when you keep what of it until you do, I say. Oh, like when you seduce Kenji despite your inexperience with men, Evelyn. Yeah, something like that. I remember that, yes. Phew, thanks, Penny. Really needed that break. They're done. Janara, what do you mean? Who's done? One of my parapsin creatures just came by to me as a fly. They're done in peak. Uh-oh. You mean... Yes. They fixed everything they could. Electricity is running and the tunnel are currently venting. The old mines are now accessible. Guess we're going there soon. Partner, have you managed to speak with your guest yet? No, but I will. This is it then. The road is clear. The entrance is prepared. We're coming for you, the boss. We're coming for you, boss. Ooh, that's a cool image. All that's left is for us to go through it. Ooh. Okay, guys. Only one more thing before we end this video truly. We just still need to do the little event with Cinder, and then we'll end the episode truly. So that's it, guys. I'll see you in the next pass. See you in a bit. Peace. Okay, guys, and we're back. Here we go. We're finally moving on. Alright, so I'm not going to try one or two. She's probably not going to be there. Let's try four. Nope, not there. Okay, guess we'll try uh, three. Nope. Oh, great. Where is she? One. Nope, that's, em that's emerald. Try two. There we go. What should I do about Cinder? 
Here we go. She's right when she said sooner or later things will be coming to the breaking point. But it couldn't, couldn't be now. Not before we finish dealing with the boss. I don't know how powerful she, how powerful she is. Nor Emerald and Mercury. She's still half Amber's powers. And on top of that, she's a skilled aura user. And there was that semblance she used to shoot a hole through Titania's chest. Titania's chest. Titania's chest, sorry. She creates something out of glass? Crystal? Anyway, we don't even know what her semblance actually does. She's... She's... Incogni... Incogni... Yeah. Incognita. A dangerous one. I need to keep sleeping for as long as possible. Uh-oh. That's... She's texted you, dude. No matter what. Meet me in the gym pool tonight. After, after lights out. Come alone. Oh. Um, um, okay, now I'm scared. Don't give us... Don't give her access to any holes, can she? You decide to make it... Decide to make it, like, a drowning thought about it, but that'll probably find some s scratches from my, from your fingernails as you thrash about. So, what do you want? For now, I want you to sit with me. We'll s then we'll see. Sit? Really? Yes, really. Is that hard to believe? Honestly, I don't know. I don't know what to expect from you at all. I know next to nothing about you, because you want it that way. So when I can't reason around your schemes, you're a complete mystery. Not a fan of mystery, Kenji. Not a fan of being in the dark, especially when it comes to someone like you. Fair enough. Though, I got the perfect pastime for us. What? This is not good. First of all, Cinder is not my real name. It's a nickname. What? Me to mock my c my hair color, given to me by the cr by the cow of a stepmother in a family of blondes. I saw it like a sore thumb, made evident to anyone with two functioning brain cells that she re had remarried. My two younger stepsisters m grew up learning to use it well, especially after my father died. They brought it up with the impre impers yeah. Sorry, guys. In perversion that it could treat me as garbage and get away with it in the di in the indifference of our idyllic close-knit community. Idyllic. What? What is this? What are you doing? Left all the housework and chores to me, too. Big mistake. Starting in summer, bit by bit, day by day, I dug out a nice bit... I think it's pretty nice big hole. Why are you telling me this? My tail was big enough to fit all three of them. In fall. Mother, mother, help. Lily and Rose fell in a hole. Whoops. I didn't mean to make them... I didn't mean to make you trip too. Oh, don't make that face. I didn't kill them. I just took what was mine and ran. Ran where? That's the face of someone who decided to try and find something useful in my story. Ran anywhere with anyone for a bit. I wanted to live for life, so to speak, but eventually it became boring. So I thought me could try and become a hunter. Found one who had retired, convinced him to teach me, helped me unlock my semblance. Then I put a shard of glass through his left eye socket while he, when he got handsy. That's not what happened in the actual story, but then again, I guess this is just you know a bit of a darker turn for Cinder's story. And that right there, after that eternal shock, infuriated me. The thought that people still thought they could take advantage of me. Even now, right now, there's someone who thinks she's taking advantage of me. So I decided, fine, I'll let them, I'll let them think so. Okay. And use that to my advantage. Okay, this is getting interesting. Intense look. And yet, you're silent. I'm starting to understand you a little more. But I, but I still don't get what... What is that you want? 
Oh, I want a great many things. What I, what I want to obtain out of all this, that's way too far in the future for you to worry about. What I want from you, well, that's more easily answerable. You see, you're in a very rare position right now, Kenji. Not only are you, shall we say, scrum scrumptious? I think that's the word. Yeah, scrumptious. Ugh, what am I, a snack? You're also headstrong, brave and smart. You have to face me up front, threaten me, but also know when to relent. You got onto my skin, past my defences, in a way that no one has ever had... No one has ever had done before. In short, you're someone I will have to kill one day. That makes me... And that makes you perfect. Perfect for what? Wait. My wrist. What is... Ugh, get... The perfect toy. Ugh. The perfect buffer. Oh, I got plans, Kenji. So many plans. To bring them to fruition, I have to restrain myself from so much. <laughs> yes, like that. I knew you could take it, and you can give it. Get off me, you crazy! Urgh. And then you can die, can't you? Urgh. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I was playing a bit rough, wasn't I? Allow me. Get... Get off! Hmm. It's getting intense. I was right, she is into that stuff. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> uh. Oh, great, she's got Yandere eyes. Hmm. Better now, yes? I'm sorry. I get a little excited. Got a little excited there. This is an image I've never seen before. So, return to my earlier statement. What I want, Kenji, is for you to take everything I want to give. <laughs> my secrets. My barest instincts. My basest instincts. Everything I want to let out of that, I want to let out. You'll take them, and then when you're going to be too bothersome to keep around, you'll die. Uh, kill. Kill you! Hmm. Please do try. This is getting odd. That's what makes it so fun for me. You've got an, got an appeal for Cinder's Fall. For now. Ugh. Okay, guys. I'm going to video here before I vomit. That's it, guys. This is Jeff, and I'm out of here. See ya.